YouTube. So this problem is problem 57 from chapter 4 from the section on node versus mesh. And in this problem, let's go ahead and describe the circuit. We have three, three um, voltage sources. This one is a 23 volt independent voltage source. This is 46 and this is some variable um, DC voltage source and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but the resistances are 30, 5, 15, 10, 20, and 25. There's some current, this current here through the 20 ohm resistor is called I0. So the problem states, the variable DC voltage source in the circuit um, is adjusted so that I0 is zero. First, we're gonna find the value of the DC voltage that will make that become zero. And then secondly, we're going to prove that our answer was correct by showing that power um, developed equals power dissipated. Okay, so this section is about node versus mesh. So let's go ahead and talk about the two methods, the two techniques. So first, let's think about the node voltage. We've got four nodes, one, two, three, and four. And the number of variables unknowns we're going to have is 4 minus 1, because 1 is a reference node. And this one is typically the one that I would choose to be the ground node. You want to choose a node that has the most circuit elements um, to limit the number of variables you have. However, in this case, every circuit element has three, or every node has three circuit elements attached to it. Or, so there is no advantage of choosing any. You can choose any of them, and you won't have any advantage. So this is going to be the one that I would choose for the ground. I would have one unknown here, one unknown voltage here, one unknown voltage here, and one unknown voltage there. But the node method gives us a tricky, there's something tricky that we have to deal with um, in, the, in, the, well, in the node method, which is this node here, we have a voltage and a voltage. So this node here um, is going to be some Vx plus Vdc. And this node here is going to be some Vy plus 23. So um, the node voltage is going to be a little bit more complicated, whereas the mesh method is fairly straightforward. You have one mesh current, two mesh current, and three mesh current. I think in one of the problems, I did the harder technique. So that is similar to that. So since I've already done that, and it was um, much more painful than the mesh method, we're going to go with the easier method now. Um, if you want to learn how to do something tricky like that, view problem number 50, uh, 55. Problem number 55 is the one where I did it the harder way, and it exactly addresses this situation where you have a voltage, a little, um, a little bit of wire, and then voltage here, which is not exactly going to be 23 because it's cut here by the 5. So it's going to be some Vx, and this will be some Vy, and that's how you would handle it, exactly like the same as in problem 55. But now we're going to do it the easier way. So we're going to use the mesh method to find, um, well, this one we know is going to be zero, but this one and this one is what we don't know. So I'm going to follow their sign and keep things easy. This is zero amps, right? Because we know that that's what we're seeking. So that's going to be zero amps going in that direction. And this will be some I sub A, some I sub B. So this is basically I naught. Okay? So let's just do our noble equation like we always do, starting right here. So the first thing we have is. Um, the current is coming through, it enters a positive terminal, so this will be, so mesh at I naught. I'm going to take a second to make sure the camera can view everything. Okay, it looks like you guys can see everything. Um, sorry, just going to move this a little bit over. Um, okay. That's a little bit better. So mesh at I0, we've got this voltage drop, which is going to be, it enters the current direction of the current, enters the positive terminal, so we're going to say plus 23. V is equal to IR, but I is 0, so 20 times 0 is 0. And then we enter the negative terminal, so we got minus 46 
And then here, we've got 10, so B is equal to IR. So it's going to be 0 amps minus IA. So it's going to be minus IA. And then here, um, so then in this one, we've got plus 5 times 0 amps minus so, um, so this would be 0 amps minus IB, so minus IB. All that is equal to 0. Alright, so then our next mesh equation is going to be at IA. So mesh at IA gives me, so starting here, I've got 10, and then times IA minus 0, so that's just times IA, plus 46, 46 is the next voltage drop. And then after that, we have 25 plus 25 IA, and then minus VDC, and then the next one is going to be plus 15 times a net current of IA minus IB. IA minus IB equals zero. Okay, so the final mesh equation is gonna be at IB. So mesh at IB, let's start with a 30. We have 30 IB plus 5 times IB minus 0. So that's just going to be 5 IB. Next one is going to be 15 plus 15 times IB minus IA. All of that must equal 0. So now we're going to make, have our um, simultaneous equation solvers. Do, um, do the trick, the hard work for us. We have variables IA, IB, VDC is equal to, and then constants on that side. Okay, now let's start putting equations, um, things where they belong. So 23 minus 46 is negative 23. That's going to go on the other side as positive 23. So the next term is going to be minus 10 IA, so I got a negative 10 right here. And then the next term after that is negative 5 IB, so I got a negative 5 here and a 0 for VDC. The next mesh equation has 10 IA, so I got a 10 right here. And then 46 is going to go on the other side as negative 46. And then we got plus 25 IA, so let's go... Um, plus 25, and then a VDC has minus 1, and then plus 15 for IA, so plus 15, and then a negative 15 for IB, so negative 15. Those are our coefficients. Okay, our final line in our matrix, we got 30 IB right there, and then we got a 5 IB, so plus Five, and then plus 15 for IB, and then we got negative 15 for IA, and 0 for VDX, and 0 for constants. So now let's put this into our simultaneous equation solver. three equations and three unknowns, negative 10, negative 5, 0, 23, 15 plus 10 plus 25, negative 15, negative 1, negative 46, negative 15, 30, oops, 30 plus 5 plus 15, 0 and 0, solve it. So my simultaneous equation solver has told me that IA is negative 2 amps, IB is negative 0 0.6 amps, and VDC is negative 45 volts. Okay, so what were we looking for? We were looking for VDC, and it is 45 volts. That's the answer for part A. 
Now for part B, we need to prove that our answer is correct by showing that uh, power dissipated equals powers developed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a table of all the circuit elements. If the power is negative, that means it's power that's being developed. If the power is positive, that's power that's being, let's put this over here. So the DC is negative 45 volts. That's part A. Okay, so then positive power is power that's being dissipated. So here we go. This column is for the power calculation. So let's just go through and inventory our items. We got the 23 volts. We got the 20, 20 ohms, 46 volts. So 23, 20, 46, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Uh, I think you guys can see everything. Just to be sure. Okay, so now... So now, let's do the calcula uh, power calculation. It's 25 volts. So we know P is equal to VI, right? So, um, well, let's just go ahead and first of all write down the equations that we'll be using. So this is P is equal to VI. That's going to be VI. This is going to be I squared R. This is going to be VI. Oops. This is going to be VI. This will be I squared R. 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 VI. Okay. So this calculation, let's go down and do them. So 23, the I is going to be the zero amps, so VI. So it's zero amps, so it's going to be zero times 23, okay? That will give us zero. Now this one right here, I squared R, so the 20 ohm is going to be zero times 20 because we got zero amps. We adjusted the VDC, so that would be zero. So um, the next one, the 46, is going to be this current, right, IA, which we said was um, negative two amps, right? and it's entering the positive terminal of the 46 volt independent voltage source. That tells me the sign of the voltage is positive 46. Next one is I squared R. Resistors are always a positive number, so 10. So that's gonna be net current of IA minus um, zero, so that's going to be negative two squared times 10. Third one is the 25, so it's only got IA going through that, so it's going to be negative two squared times 25. And the third one is the 15. We got IA minus IB. So we have IA is negative 2 minus negative I, um, IB is going to be plus 0 0.6 squared times 5. And then for 15, we got, through the 15, we got, I, oopsies, the 5. My bad, the 5 is this one. Do that over. So the 5 is going to be IB minus 0, so that's going to be just negative 6.6 .6 squared times 5. 
And then the 15 is the one that has is IA minus IB. So IA is going to be negative 2 minus negative 0.6 is going to be plus 0 0.6 square times 15. And then the 30 has just got I, um, IB through that. So that's going to be 30 times um, negative 0 0.6 squared. VDC is going to be negative 45 negative 45 and then it's only got um, IA going through that IA is negative right it's negative 2 but it's entering the, the negative terminal of VDC so that's going to be a double negative which will make that times positive 2. Let's go through and put negative numbers on this side positive numbers on this side so this is going to be 0 this is going to be 0. This is going to be negative 2 times 46. Negative 2 times 46 is negative 92. Oops. Okay. So that will be negative 92. So 2 squared, 2 squared times 10 gives me 40. Then here 2 squared times 25 is 100. And then 6 squared times 5 gives me, oops, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 squared times 5 is going to be 1.8. And then negative 2 plus 0 0.6 squared times 15. Oops, I got this reverse, so this side is going to be the dissipated, that side is going to be developed. This gives me 29.4 and then 30 times 0.6 squared is 10.8 and negative 45 times 2 is going to be negative 90. Okay, so now for grand totals, so we have 40 plus 100 plus 1.8 plus 29.4 plus 10.8. That's on the develop, dissipated side, I've got 182 watts. And then on the developed side, I've got negative 92 plus negative 90, which gives me negative 182. So power dissipated equals power is developed. So we proved our answer was correct. All right, guys. So if you received help, make sure that you like the Facebook page and um, share with your friends so that they get the help that they need as well. All right, that's all for now.